All right, welcome back to the channel and to the moment that I know a lot of you have been waiting for. Today, we are announcing the winners of the Edit My Video Challenge in partnership with Storyblocks. You might remember a couple weeks back, we announced the challenge. I put my video footage out there for anybody and everybody to download and edit into their own 30 second video in the top three winners, which we'll be announcing today, will be winning some awesome prizes. When I say that at most, I thought we were gonna get maybe on the high end around 400 submissions. Mm -mm. We got nearly 1300 submissions. There were 1,274 entries and I watched every single one of them. If you couldn't tell, I am exhausted. I never wanna look at another avocado ever again, but more than anything, I'm just really surprised at how many incredibly talented people are out there who participated in this contest. It really makes judging the entries very difficult. As you know, this whole challenge was made possible by our amazing sponsor, Storyblocks, the absolute best resource out there for all of your stock footage needs. I've used the unlimited all access plan for several years now, and whether it's dynamic backgrounds for my product commercials or film burns for spicy transitions, or even a smoke overlay for dramatic effect, Storyblocks has always had me covered no matter the type of asset I need for my work. And now, as you know, I have my own collection on Storyblocks and I'm gonna continue to add to the collection as we do more tutorials. So in the future, when I'm teaching you how to do some kind of effect, you can actually go on to Storyblocks, download the footage and follow along. That is something I am super excited for. So make sure you get your subscription today at storyblocks.com slash Daniel Schiffer. So let's get right into some honorable mentions. These edits didn't win, but there were some cool moments that I thought were worth sharing. So this edit here was done by Steve Jacobs. It's an overall really solid edit, but what I love is how at the end here, he actually masked in a bunch of food scraps and this empty can, which not only looks really convincing, but he even took a bunch of audio clips from some of my YouTube videos and kind of stitched them together to get that line at the end. Sarah, you made a mess. Mm -hmm. I thought this was pretty funny and made the edit memorable. If you remember at the start of the challenge, I said that I would be looking at uniqueness and creativity. And certainly when you're going through 1300 submissions, the ones where people go the extra mile to do stuff like this tends to stand out. So very well done. Let's go ahead and move on to our next honorable mention. This one just gets me. After seeing so many edits of the same footage, often arranged in the same order, the same kind of sequencing, it is so refreshing to see someone have a different sort of creative spin on the challenge. Shout out to Justin Craig for that. This one was awesome, really loved it. So I think we can all agree that that one was really cool. This edit comes from Luber who had some really cool VFX. I love that 3D thing he did with the rice and then again with the onion and then the pepper. Really, really good. I just can't stress enough how difficult it is narrowing these down, especially to a top three. This edit was definitely in that conversation. So this edit was also up there on the list. This comes from Harvey who, I mean, from a technical perspective as an editor, I can really appreciate how meticulous all of those transitions and speed ramps and the shots, how they were lined up in time to the music. That stuff is so difficult and takes so much time. This was super good. I, again, making the top five, the top three, 
so difficult, but an awesome honorable mention nonetheless. But that brings us to the most controversial part of this video, which is the winners. I mean, I bounced these edits around to a bunch of friends and got different people's opinions, and nobody could agree on a top three. But ultimately, I am the judge of this challenge, and it is totally subjective. So, in third place, we have Felix Bremiker. So congratulations to Felix on third place. This edit, obviously super solid all the way through from start to finish. Just an overall very smooth flow to the video, the tasteful sound effects. And while this edit wasn't necessarily as flashy as some other ones, it was very polished and Felix still managed to flex his editing ability through that onion shot of it going from the whole onion to the chopped onion. I thought this was a great balance of tasteful and impressive. That's why it's my third place, but let's move along to second place. Now in second place, we have Jack Sutton. Congrats to Jack on second place. This edit for me just felt like one of the most complete from start to finish. I loved the incorporation of the text and also the crop, the close up on the shots. Now I can kind of already predict that some people will feel like the effects in this video can be a bit gimmicky at times, but honestly, the final video looks great and I think the effects work really well to captivate the viewer's attention and just make the video pop. I could fully see this playing on a screen inside a poke restaurant here in downtown Toronto. Really solid edit, I loved it, one of my favorites. That is second place, congrats to Jack. And now finally our winner in first place, we have Michael Edder. This edit, I feel like, hit on exactly what this challenge was all about. When it comes to uniqueness and creativity, I felt like there were no other edits that were actually able to repurpose the footage and manipulate the shots in the same way that Edder did here. First and foremost, the opening shot, you have this empty bowl. I never filmed an empty bowl. What Michael did was he took the top-down shot of the finished poke bowl, and in Photoshop, he completely reconstructed a new empty bowl, and then 3D composited all of that together to create this magical intro. Then very quickly, he does this sort of tease of the final dish by flashing it on the screen, and then there's this big flash, and we get into the making of the poke bowl. Now, this shot of the knife here is another really good example of being resourceful and creating something new. Now, what it looks like he did was he took the background from another shot and masked the knife into the shot and animated it manually. Just crazy to me that he even thought of that. Absolutely love the falling cucumber in the next shot. It actually looks really similar to the technique I did for that falling tomato tutorial. But also notice the shadow when that cucumber slice is falling. The attention to detail here is just really impressive. Next, we just have this absurd sequence of a whole avocado bouncing. It disintegrates in half and the pit just floats out. What? For me, as an editor watching this, to see someone executing these things is already impressive as it is, but to even come up with these ideas, to even have the thought, it just... 
Look, you could make the case for any of these videos I showed you today to be a winner of this challenge, but to me, the degree of creativity and difficulty in this edit by Michael Eder is why I think it is so worthy of our number one spot. So congratulations to all our winners. They will be receiving the prizes that you see on the screen here. I wanna thank Storyblocks and all the other awesome brands who contributed to these prizes for the challenge. And thank you to all of you for entering this challenge and being so awesome, making it so fun. I loved seeing everybody interacting and commenting on each other's videos. But that is it for the challenge. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Instagram at daniel.schiffer. And as always, I will see you in the next video.